I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use Google Drawing to make some really neat text overlays for your videos or to use them for buttons or whatever you want them for. Well, let's have a look. Let's start with page setup and we'll choose widescreen 16.9 ratio. Let's insert some word art. Let's choose a font. Luckiest guy is the font I'm looking for. So that's added to my list and now I'll go down and select it. Let's play around with the thickness of the outside. Can't do that with normal text. Play around with bold or not. And let's use gradient to get a really nice looking colour. And let's even customise it. a little while get something that I'm happy with and let's add some drop shadow get a bit of distance in there in the angle a bit and get rid of the blur and make it completely opaque nice let's copy that and change it to the next bit of text and let's copy both of those and we will change the blur radius of the bottom one and then we'll put the other ones back on top using the guides to line it up Awesome. Let's give it a name and now we can download it. it. Must be a PNG so that the background is transparent. Let's drag it into iMovie. You can use this on any editing program as a text overlay. And I'll just have a fiddle around with some of the settings here just to get it to zoom in and out a bit. So that's just some stuff you can do with iMovie. Now let's have a look at Google Sites. Why use the standard text when you can use your awesome text graphic instead? You can set it to the size you want, you can crop it in a little bit, you can place it wherever you like. It looks a lot nicer than the standard text. So that's Google Sites. Now what if you want to make a new one do you have to start over? Well, no. Let's call this a template so it's ready to use again next time. Then you can just open it up again and just change the text. You can go in and change all the colors. And here's a handy little trick. If you want to revert back to the old one, click on the little link there where it says last edit. And this takes you into the version histories. So it takes you back in time and you can go back and rename the different versions that were created at different time points. And then you can click on a button that just says only show the named versions. So you can swap between the two of those or however many you have as often as you like. And then you can just restore the one you want to use and then you can go back and Unrestore, you can restore the one that you just had before that, if that makes sense. So there's lots of things you can do there with Google Drawings and creating awesome text. So if you found that useful, maybe check out one of my other videos and maybe even subscribe.